Hey everybody, this is Tall Gamer Junkie, I want to welcome you all back to my channel. So, I want to give a shout out to Anne Brank, Dr. Daniel, and The Flashbreaker for letting me know about these delays in Life is Strange content. Now, I have no idea what's happening. Like, I expected this from the comic, but I didn't expect this from the Life is Strange, um, what, the Life is Strange DLC for True Colors, which is a prequel cool episode, and, um, the Life is Strange Remaster Collection being delayed until next year. Now, to start off, I'm going to go with the, start with the comic. Now, originally, um, issue 17 was going to come out September 15th, five days after Life is Strange True Colors release. But it's been pushed back to September 29th, 2021. So we're still getting it in September. So it's not like, um, um, if you remember a while ago, um, not the last arc, the arc before, um, the, the issues uh, got pushed, one of the issues um, got pushed back months ago, I forget which one it was, I think it was three maybe, well it could have been four, but that basically we had to wait an extra few months in order to read the comic. Now the last issue, Settling Dust, um, I can't remember if this has been delayed or not because I don't remember the original release date, but um, it's released, it's going to be released on October 27th. So, we still have the month of September and October, which is good, but the dates have just been pushed forward. Uh, then, then again, I don't know if it's pushed forward for October, because as I just said, I don't remember the original release date for October, but um, if, September's, if the September release ha has been pushed forward, then I think the October one is going to be pushed forward too. Alright, now that the comic's out of the way, let's move on to Life is Strange. So, there, I, so the Life is Strange team uh, released this update, which I'm going to read to you, and then I'm going to go over my thoughts about it. Hello Life is Strange fans, we have some important updates for you on our upcoming release dates. After Life is Strange True Colors releases on September 10th, we're happy to announce that the Life is Strange Wavelengths, Wavelengths DLC starring Steph Gringrich will release on September 30th. Now, originally the DLC was supposed to release with Life is Strange, and I was actually, uh, when September came around, I was going to um, make a poll um, post and ask if you'd rather I play the DLC first and then the main story, or the main story first and then the DLC at the end. You know, like how, uh, and I was actually going to do the same thing with the remaster collection for Life is Strange Before the Storm. I was going to start Before the Storm and do a poll where I'd ask if you'd rather I did the DLC first and then the episodes, or the episodes and then the DLC. But anyways, I'll be doing some good news though. We will be revealing a first look via a new trailer tomorrow, and that's of the DLC with Steph. So, like, I don't know, probably now as I'm speaking, it'll, it might already be released, I don't know, because because my time zone is different, so normally um, when trailers for Life is Strange get released, I'm asleep because the stuff normally comes out like at 2 or 3 a.m. So that's because I live in Australia, so I'm, li I'm on a different time zone as I just said. I don't know what what the... I don't know if it's specific or anything, like I'm not a geographical man, so I don't know all the time zones. But anyway, moving forward. However, due to the ongoing challenges of the worldwide pandemic, we want to alleviate any additional pressure on the Life is Strange team by giving more time between the release of Life is Strange True Colors and the Life is Strange Remastered Collection. For this reason, we have made the difficult decision to delay the release of the Life is Strange Remastered Collection for all platforms, PC, PlayStation, Xbox, Stadia, and Switch until early 2022. We hope you understand. Thank you for your patience and overwhelming support. For more information, please keep an eye on our official channels, the Life is Strange team. Now, uh, I'm actually a bit worried um, about this. So, the reason I'm worried, um, not about Life is Strange True Colors, because that's, I want to be clear in case any of you are confused, it's not episodic. What they, the whole game will be released, and what's going to happen is where, um, the, I, I forget who said it, one of the developers, um, I don't know who it was, said that um, there will come a point in the game where when you're playing it, um, you'll get the option to 
um, take a break or continue on. So it's not because this game is going to be more open world than previous entries. And I'm actually I've actually made a video on that, but uh, I don't want to risk uploading it at the moment because this video is my main priority because the internet's being stuff a bit stuffy with me at the moment. It's probably going to be fixed by tomorrow. So this video is going to be uploaded using my phone data because I feel this is the most important video to make. Like, I still have to upload um, the latest issue of Life is Strange with no content, and then release the, then combine that with the previous no um, no commentary video. Sorry, not content. So like what I mean is, um, seven issue. I gotta upload issue 17 and. I gotta upload issue 18, no commentary, and then combine that with issue 17, no commentary, to make that into the new arc, so all of you can read it. Uh, but anyways, I'm um, getting back to my concerns. Um, um, a, a few months ago, like the beginning of the year, Ubisoft announced that there, or, or it might have been um, the trailer that was released, but basically we were getting a remaster of Prince of Persia: The Sands of Time, and I love the Prince of Persia series. Um, the Two Thrones is really uh, the only game, is one of the very few games that um, I'm okay with the character's voice, with the character having a different voice actor, because, you know, sometimes when you play a game and then they change the voice of the character, you're like, uh, I don't really like it, and, but sometimes it does work out, or well, sometimes they get a voice actor to completely uh, imitate the um, original character's voice from the original actor. And so, I, I can hardly tell the difference of that. But, you could tell, because Wario Finn, in case um, none, of you, none of you hearing this are Prince of Persia fans, it, it's the darkest of the trilogy. Um, like, well, there's also the Forgotten Sands, which I, um, I think is meant to be based after the Sands of Time, but before Wario Within. But anyways, I'm um, getting, up, getting back on topic here. When, when the trailer was released for the remaster, it looked awful. I mean, I was watching it. It didn't even look like a remaster. I mean, I could, by comparing it to the PS2 game, yeah. I mean, you could see um, it's improved, but it was nothing like what what you would expect from a re remaster. And that's to be expected because a lot of games that are being remastered, um, they're they're gr um, great. Uh, what was that? I can't remember. Um, game off the top of my head, but the remaster was uh, Resident Evil 2, that's it. Resident Evil 2 was, it was a remaster slash a remake, I'm not the biggest Resi fan, so I'm not too sure, but but yeah, that one looked great, well, considering, the, considering the Resident Evil 2 game came out, what, late 90s, early 2000s? I'm not so sure. But anyways, um, the, the remaster for Prince of Persia got pushed back a few months later. Then it got pushed back again to next year. So that's what my biggest worry is. If what if we experience the same problem with Life is Strange Remastered? Um, because we have seen um, images uh, of Life is Strange. We've seen the trailer for the remaster, and they've shown us side by side comparisons. Uh, but I've made a vi video of this before. But like, I, I guess my biggest fear is. Um, Having, having not only it be like Prince of Persia where the remaster is just awful, but my biggest concern is um, it ending up like Cyberpunk 2077. Now, I was one of those people that was really hyped for this game. I was like, there's no way it's in there. It's going to be amazing. But then when the game released, there was a lot of bugs, a lot of issues and that. So that's what really scares me. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying that Life is Strange is going to have all the or bugs and that, but the graphics, um, when, when you play it on, I was lucky enough to play it on Xbox, but when you were playing it on PS4, it was so buggy, it was so awful, no one could even play it, like, PlayStation Store took it off, took it off the store, like, whoever's in charge of PlayStation Store, like, Sony, took, removed the game from the store, you couldn't buy it, you could only buy it on disc, so, I guess, like, my, hopefully, like, the graphics do look good, I am hoping that, um, this will not be an incident like that. Like, I truly have faith in Deck Nine, um, you know, re how releasing this remaster for Life is Strange, but I guess I'm just a little, like, concerned. It's like, as I mentioned in my previous worries, 
because, you know, Deck Nine didn't work on Life is Strange, it worked on um, Before the Storm. So, seeing them work on the very first Life is Strange, like, I just really hope they don't screw it up. You know, um, but anyways, uh, that's really the end of this video. Let me know what you all think in the comments below. Are you disappointed, shocked, happy? Because I, for one, if a game, I want a game to be released when it's 100% done. Not 99% done, not 99.9%. I want a hundred. I want it to be 100% fully done and released. I don't want to have to buy, I mean, not, you don't have to buy, I don't want to have to keep installing like day one patches and that. I just want, like, I just want, well, I just want the game to be perfect, but no game can be perfect, there's always issues. Uh, so anyways, that's the end of this video, I uh, hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Tall Gamer Junkie, signing off.